What's up guys, it's Weezy back here again with another video and our focus this week for Monday's motivation is on soul. Now to begin, our dreams and goals rely heavily on our soul, meaning that putting our blood, sweat, and tears into how we want our lives to be fulfilled. Now this quote above reads, now do you have that soul in your material or are you just doing it for a check like the rest of them? And the meaning behind this quote is, are you putting in the hours upon hours into your passion to make a name for yourself and to support your loved ones and your friends, or are you just doing it for the money? But what we should focus on is that the wealth is going to eventually come once our craft improves. And if we focus on being the most creative that we can be while placing all of our love into our pursuit of happiness, then there's no stopping that passive income. So remember that relying on money limits our satisfaction and we must stay on track of becoming a better person, helping our peers, supporting one another, and most importantly, giving 100% into what we desire. Now here are five reasons why your soul matters. Number one. Your soul is the source of all of your achievements. Think about everything that's important in your life, and you'll say yes, that came from my soul. And think about this in relation to the world. And think about music, the symphony, hip hop, rap, and R&B. Where did these things come from? They came from the soul of the composer that wrote it. Now think about art. The ability to depict beauty came through the hands of the artist, but where did it really come from? It came from the soul of the artist. Now lastly, think about sports. Every great sports achievement has come through the relentless commitment, discipline, desire, and the determination of the athlete, which of course is in the soul of each and every athlete. Number two, your soul is breathed into you by God. Grasping this is very important in knowing who you are and why your life is in such great value. And also understanding that we are more than just a body, we are a living soul. And our soul is capable of three things which is knowing God, enjoying God, and sinning against God. And understand that sinning against God is okay because we are all not perfect people. Number three, your soul will last forever. Your life had a beginning, but it doesn't have an end. And one day we will die and our body will be laid in the ground, but our soul will live forever. So don't fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul because our soul has an endless life and it will always be immortal. Number four, like I mentioned in the quote earlier, place your soul in your material. When our soul is weak, we crave attention, become self-centered, or even self-obsessed. But if we focus on growth and repetition, we can begin to enhance our skill set one step at a time. And lastly, number five, we are a soul. And the body that we have is transient and perishable. And it is composed of five elements, which are earth, water, air, fire, and space. And since the body has taken birth, it has to die eventually. But we must understand that we are a soul, which is taking over the body so that we can experience this physical reality of the world. And we identify ourselves as the body because that is the physical aspect of our existence right now. So I appreciate you guys watching my latest episode on soul for Monday's motivation. And I will see you all again next week. Peace.